we need a glass vessel in the shape of a cylinder. Look, the egg looks just like a balloon. Oh, and this refraction of light? Okay, let's be serious. Let's put this plastic plate on top, toilet paper tube, and the egg on top. Now knock it over and the egg falls exactly into it. Now three eggs. How about five? Easy? All five eggs fall right in the water. This time we will use boiled eggs, hard boiled and peeled from the shell. Boil your water in a kettle. Be careful with the boiling water. Pour it into a bottle. And when it heats up, pour it into a bowl. Now, let's put the egg on top of the neck and just watch the wonders of physics. The egg literally pulls in. Did you hear that? Let's look again from the close angle. The egg goes in the bottle. The same trick can be done with the burning piece of paper. The fire will burn all the oxygen inside and the egg will be drawn inside even faster. For the next experiment, I got this aquarium. How's the view? Fill the aquarium with water almost to the edge. And now, we break the raw egg inside. It immediately goes to the bottom, but it's not as simple as that. Using our fingers, we create a funnel in the water and the white egg makes it visible. Just look, it's a real egg tornado. And in the center of the storm, of course, is the yolk, which does not even think of spreading unlike egg white, which particles have already spread throughout the aquarium. For the next experiment, we'll need an empty shell, but first, I'll show you how to make it. To begin with, you will need two small holes on opposite side of the egg. Now, let's take a plastic bottle and make a hole in the bottom. Fill it with water, which immediately begins to flow through the hole. But for now, we'll plug it with the finger. We fix the prepared egg on the neck of the bottom of the clay. And now, you remove the finger from the bottom of the bottle and watch how the pressure will put out the entire contents of the egg, like this. Rinse the shell in water, and to remove the remaining moisture, blow into one of the holes. Now, put the shell in a glass container filled with vinegar. Under its influence, Calcium, which the most part of the shell consists of, dissolves. However, the inner membrane will remain intact. After one or two days, we will remove the membrane from the vinegar. Rinse it thoroughly to get rid of the precipitation. Now, dry with the hair dryer to remove all excess moisture. Inflate the membrane so that it returns to its original egg shape. And just look! Now we have a rubber egg. It is elastic and it bounces well off surfaces, just like a real ball. In this experiment, we're working with chemicals, so let's not forget about our protective equipment. Let's take an empty egg, as in the last experiment, as well as alkaline pipe cleaner, water, and aluminum. We dissolve the alkali in the water and add aluminum to start the chemical reaction. When the hydrogen vapor starts coming out of the neck of the bottle, we will plug it with our empty egg so that they accumulate inside the shell. Now, we will install the shell on a stand and ignite it with the gas that comes out through the hole. But do not repeat such experiment at home. It's very dangerous. Meanwhile, our shell explodes. Look, let's look at that again in slow motion. Wow, what a powerful explosion. Don't try this at home. Well, at the end, we will conduct a small crash test of an ordinary chicken egg. We will fix the egg on two coils of duct tape and gradually put barbells weighing 3.2 kilograms on top. Let's see how much of that it can withstand. 3 kilograms, 6 kilograms, 9 kilograms, wow! I didn't think it could withstand so much! 
12.8 kilograms. Meanwhile, the weight is as much as 16 kilograms. Nineteen kilograms turned out to be an unbearable burden for our egg. It turns out the maximum load that an egg can withstand is somewhere between sixteen and nineteen kilograms. We will bring it to the fire, as you can see. It does not burn; only gradually melts. Then we'll take the ashes and dip the sugar into it. We bring it to the fire again, and this time the sugar starts to burn. Even if you remove it from the candle, the fire does not disappear, and the sugar is covered with the crust and then completely explodes. That's how it was. But sometimes sugar can burn out without exploding. Why do you think it started burning at all? Fill the glass with refined sugar to the top, and then completely immerse. In it, warm water. After a while, some of the sugar dissolved in the water, and some remained lying in the bottom. Now, add a little potassium permanganate to the liquid. As you can see, it stays on the surface without sinking to the sugar at the bottom. Even if we start to stir it in ordinary water, potassium permanganate. He immediately attends to the bottom and mixes with water. No matter how much we interfere, the result is the same. And after 20 minutes, the liquid turns brown at all. Although half with sugar does not change, let's try adding green dye to one glass and iodine to another. Stir and get the same result as with potassium permanganate. And now there will be a trick. Look carefully. Let's make a number and write it on a sugar cube. We throw it into the water and stir it. Now, hold our hand over the water, and the number miraculously appears on the palm of your hand. And here's the secret. We just print a number with the sugar on our finger, and then we put it in the palm of a person. That's all. Let's take a balloon and the funnel. With this help, we will pour sugar inside. Let's take a bottle of soda. And pull our balloon on the neck, trying not to spill the sugar. Now we start and watch how the foam and gas quickly fill the ball. Oops! It's not easy to keep it up. Let's try it with other sodas. After all, the most powerful thing came out with cola. But now we see that the balloons inflated with gas stand and on the bottles exactly. Put a wooden board on a baking sheet and pour little sugar on top. Now add dry potassium permanganate to it. We mix these substances with the wooden stick, and then we begin to crush them, turning them into a homogeneous dust. A little more pressure.
and a fire breaks out. What a powerful flame! In no case, do not repeat it at home. This is a very dangerous experiment. Let's take some food wrap and make two identical squares of it. Pour about two and a half tablespoons of sugar on each. Add a quarter spoonful of starch to one of the squares. Mix and begin to wrap in the bag. We will tie it with the thread several times for reliability. We do the same with the second film, but with the thread of a different color. Cut off the excess and put both bags in a bowl of water for 30 minutes and then take them out. Now add iodine to the container with water and dissolve it. We will hang our bags over the solution and cover them with the lid. After 12 hours, changes are visible. Pour out the sugar for clarity. With pure sugar, almost nothing happened. But sugar mixed with starch acquired an ashen color. In a bowl, pour a few spoons of powdered sugar and then add a little soda. Now we pour our sand on a baking tray and pour alcohol on it so that it gets soaked. Pour our mixture on top Level it and ignite the alcohol. A chemical reaction immediately begins. The mixture begins to turn into a black mushroom-like appendicus, like monsters from TV series of One of Us. It looks creepy, but at the same time, fascinating. That's what remains in the end. There's a charm in this figure. Let's take sulfuric acid and very carefully begin to impregnate refined sugar with it. Add a little bit and the sugar gradually begins to turn black. Continue until all the sugar turns black. Now we just watch. We see how the liquid begins to flow out of the sugar and then it begins to deform and grow. Faster and faster. Gas is already starting to be released and the sugar itself seems to be boiling. Finally, the reaction is completed, turning the sugar into a soft, sticky black mass. It's time to conduct a larger experiment. Fill the glass jar with granulated sugar about halfway up, and now let's move on to the most dangerous part. Pour the sulfuric acid inside and start stirring everything as quickly as possible until the reaction begins. Now it only remains to observe from a safe distance. Again, the substance begins to gradually turn black 
and then gas and smoke appear after which a huge black something begins to crawl out. Somewhat resembles a slug from outer space, causes ambiguous emotions. As you can see, the mass has risen much higher than the volume occupied by sugar and acid. Let's take a closer look. Wow, this thing is hot. Break off a piece. As you can see, it crumbles easily in your hands. 